I mentioned earlier that an ion is an atom that has an imbalance of protons and electrons. One of the ions that we are going to be encountering a lot this semester is the hydrogen ion. So we just want to make some notes about it right now so that we're able to refer back to it later on. So hydrogen ions, these are hydrogen atoms that have given up an electron. And um, in terms of molecules, okay, there are some molecules that are able to donate a hydrogen ion into solution. And we call these types of molecules acids. There are some, some substances that are particularly good at doing this and others that are not. Um, so molecules that can donate a hydrogen ion are called acids. Molecules that accept hydrogen ions or kind of like soak them up from the surroundings, these are called bases. And as you can see, they're kind of, they're doing complete opposite things. Some are donating, some are sort of absorbing. So acids versus bases. And the way that this ability is measured is on a pH scale. So if you've ever heard of the pH of a solution, um, what is that actually measuring? It's measuring this ability uh, to, to donate or accept hydrogen ions. So literally, the way that pH can be measured is by measuring how many protons, how many hydrogen ions are there in a solution, and that'll give us an indication of the pH of that solution. So acidic solutions, we would say that they have a pH less than seven. Basic solutions have a pH greater than seven. And the pH scale itself only goes from zero up to 14. That's the limit, just um, there's a mathematical reason for that. It has to do with how the ion concentration is measured. But anyway, zero to 14 is the range of possible pH values. And things that are on the very low end in terms of these numbers, this means there are a lot of hydrogen ions present. So these are very strong acids down here on this end. Um, these are very strong bases down here on this end. And you can check out the examples that are given here. Some are very familiar. Lemon juice is definitely acidic. Um, hydrochloric acid is super acidic. That's in our stomachs. Um, other things that are acidic, tomatoes, coffee, if it's black. If you add creamer, then it might not be acidic anymore. But anyway, um, some familiar things. Now, on the basic end of things, baking soda. This is a a very um, standard basic item that we probably all have in our kitchens. Um, and then a lot of soaps and cleaners tend to be on the basic end. So anyway, the difference between acids and bases, it all comes back to these hydrogen ions and what the solution is doing with them. In human biology, these hydrogen ions are super important because their presence, or in other words, the pH, um, will affect a lot of things that are going on inside of our bodies. It affects whether our cells can take substances in, um, it affects which chemical reactions can take place, it affects the shape of certain molecules, proteins, which are coming up for us here in this chapter. We'll be talking about those in a moment. Um, and so anyway, if, if the pH of the body is not kept constant, remember homeostasis, if homeostasis is not maintained, then there are going to be all sorts of things that just can't take place the way that they are supposed to in the human body. So one of the ways that our bodies can maintain pH very consistently at a very consistent level is by the use of buffers. Buffers are things that help to maintain a stable pH value. And the way that they do that is by absorbing extra hydrogen ions um, or donating hydrogen ions. If the levels start to get too low, then they donate hydrogen ions into solution. So that's a buffer. A really common buffer in the human body is the bicarbonate buffer. And this is one that I'm not going to go into detail on it right now. I want you to see it right now because it's going to come up later on when we talk about respiration particularly. This is a buffer pair that's present in our blood and basically if the blood starts to get too acidic then what happens is this molecule, the bicarbonate ion, absorbs those extra protons, those extra extra hydrogen ions, it absorbs them, puts them, uh, attaches them to this molecule, so then we have this. Um, but if the other extreme happens, if the blood starts to get too basic, then what can happen is this very same molecule will donate its hydrogen ion back into the bloodstream. So then this helps to, right, um, 
sort of maintain homeostasis, keep things at the level that they should be in terms of pH.